Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel, and this is Poco XC custom ROM reviews. This is a CR Droid version 9.4 based on Android 13. You can see on the screen as you can see, this is the Easter egg you get regarding Android 13, as you can see. And this is how it is. And the April 5th security patch is also available. Vendor security patch is February 1, 2023. Kernel user is 4.14.311. Lineage OS kernel has been used. Build date you can see April 17th. Latest build for Poco XC slash NFC. It's applicable for both the devices. You need to flash the mind G apps. I, I have flashed the mind G apps. You need to flash separately the G apps for this particular ROM. Hence, my suggestion is mind G apps Android 13. You can use the same and I have been running some CPU throttling test and good thing is this is screenshot you I will show you within a while and you can see the CPU throttling test is still in memory it haven't happened in any of the ROMs as of now for POCO X slash NFC still in the memory the memory management I mean the RAM management is excellent in this particular ROM you can see the scores are around maximum 189 average 153 and minimum is 116 and this is a 100 thread test guys and cp is total to 73 percent of its max performance and that's how it is uh, i really like the ram management it was opened long back ago F for example i want to show that screenshot if i go into no not edit details you can see it was taken around 1 26 uh, pm now currently it's 5 28 pm it was in the memory for four hours can you believe it it's how the uh, memory management in this particular room and this is the geekbench course what i got in this particular room you can see 734 is the single score 1706 is the multi-score and linux 4.14.311 lineage os kernel has been used on this surya or karna whatever it is my variant is indian variant 60b128 and uh, i'm quite happy with the ram management and one more good thing in this particular rom is charging test as you can see you will get that high speed internet charge uh, sorry high speed charging is available in this particular rom it is showing charging rapidly i mean 33 watt charging support is available and this is typical home skin and app drawer and uh, quick settings panel you can see it's a very very smooth ui what i found out i haven't used this rom for a couple of months now the last update i have used but before that i haven't used because of the only vanilla build available but to be frank the rom is very very smooth as you can see you also get the sync option this is the quick settings option and you can get this fs info but i can say that is not 100 percent accurate but for some time you can use that other than that you get dark theme and other things you can see screen recording options is also given you get plenty of options here again this is the quick settings panel if you want to add some more as you can see you will get lot more options here you can drag and add them and the interface wise is very very smooth and responsive in my opinion and uh, this is how the google search okay this is the dialer you get let's see you will get direct video call feature available here and uh, call recording is also available it's not announcing which is very good thing uh, most of them will like it let's uninstall this android auto if we're going to more disable that yeah will it be yeah and also this accu battery i would have enabled before itself okay anyhow we'll see if it has any recorded let's see this how the efficiency 887 percent will come on the okay as you can see this how the rate what it observed but i would have enabled it anyhow the battery life will be discussed a little bit later before that this is the app drawer you get very smooth and very different here compared to any other roms it's different it's not a pixel launcher or anything like but it is smooth enough as you can see you can take screenshot from here also you can clear all from there this is how it is now moving to benchmark results i want to show the antidote benchmark results first then the geekbench you can see 352615 is the score obtained in this particular room 2.9 degrees celsius is the temperature raise and two percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing of this cr dried latest version for poco x slash nfc these are the scores which is quite fine i have 
not noticed any problems geekbench it will not record history i already shown you the scores here that's how it is whatever things are given like audio effects it's already explained in many of the rooms it will enhance your audio experience a little bit if you use and tweak them it will be definitely usable in my open browser also you get this kind of browser pre-installed if you want you can use google chrome also nothing problem here also calculator calendar and camera you get a simple camera here if you want you can use any other gcam ports also but this is also quite different here for basic usage you can use this camera you also get this 0.9x and point you can see let me do one thing if i can go into video and select any settings options has been not given here this is the only thing i can say yeah there is options here you can say check out even in the photo there are options like grid and settings if you go into settings this is a camera application has been good a little bit different in my opinion but it's still fine in my opinion if you want something advanced you can use all this kind of gcam ports this is agc you get like and again yeah. Configs have been pre-installed. I explaining in every video. You can check out my previous videos. If you are first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below, guys, and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like. I have been telling this camera in plenty of the videos. If you haven't watched, go and watch my previous videos. Those who are watching from the beginning, they will have the idea what all the camera applications has been given. And there is even a WhatsApp group also. I have given in the community section. Also, I will give the link to this description of this video. join whatsapp group also and there is a telegram channel also join those things you'll be getting more idea about these camera applications i am using this one i like it and arnold g cam is also my favorite for poco x slash nf again and some of the other scores like drm information again you get level 1 certified no need to worry about that you will get uh, l1 certification such that you can watch all the wood application in high definition resolution now coming to safety and status as you can see it's get passed here you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use those going to work fine if i press and hold here you can see you get widgets also in this rom previously i wasn't getting that as you can see you need to update this one actually but the interface wise i really liked it and wallpapers and style also you get some of the wallpapers within that only i have chosen that and you get these kind of wallpaper colors basic colors combination of the colors also has been given as you can see dark theme i'll show within a while theme icons is given app grid up to up to 6 into 10 has been given font also you can change from here if you want to change some of the fonts has been pre included shape also you can customize from here this how the theme icons looks like which is quite interesting in my opinion i hope explained all the apps here you also get game space here on a thing fancy uh file manager is also pre included and even the gallery application is pre included you get all these kind of options in this particular rom now going to settings you can see it's quite fast and responsive here in this ui and i'll start with the battery itself you, get, you will get thermal profiles here you can individually choose the uh thermals for particular apps and there was a little bit of battery drain has been noticed uh, but still i can say it's a very good battery life you can expect from this particular rom it was around 48% when i flashed this rom now currently on 36 i was uh, set uping the device i mean this particular rom and uh, downloading all these applications and running them and now making the video i can say the battery life is quite good here and the battery charging speeds i mean the 33 watt charging support is also given in this rom you will get this battery saver and turn off and charge and you can even schedule it out nothing more here extreme battery saver is not given battery manager is given you can just see the battery optimization and even battery temperature from here nothing more and sound and vibration again you get all the options here charging sounds you can check out and direct sound enhancer you can get enable hi-fi and sound preset and headphone type even the direct sound settings are also included and clear speaker option is also included here and display again here the dark theme that's what the thing i really like it the they have given pure black option you can even schedule it out the dark theme which is in pure black condition that's fine in my opinion and even night light you get options you can increase or decrease the intensity of the night light and you can even schedule this night light feature also 
colors again you get natural booster and adaptive and rotation settings peak refresh rate kept to 120 minimum 120 tap to wake and tap to sleep are working very well here app refresh rate is given ambient display again if you disable that you might get a little bit of better battle life in this summers this is how it is and accessibility menu again it's a handy feature without actually using the physical buttons you can wake them and use them as you can see even power menu recent apps locks in and you can even wake the assistant from here other settings are also as given here as in the android 13 and you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock along with that you also get a app locker is also given here and rom is encrypted but anyhow now we have decrypted our poco x3 let's say this is the fingerprint unlock you get that wobbling effect which is quite fast just tap and it's get unlocked as you can see and even the face unlock let me show you as you can see the face unlock is also quite fast in my opinion yeah that's how it is the face unlock is also quite fast in this particular rom and if i go into some of the other settings like see android settings you get lot more customization here you can see on the screen you can even change the logo from here battery style battery percentage which are given in the status bar now quick settings again you get brightness slider other things you can read on the screen animation and if i go again into the lock screen you get media cover out and art filter if you want you can do that and other settings are also shown on the screen navigation again you get these kind of options plenty of actions can be done from here with the gestures you can do in the navigation settings buttons again end a call by pressing the power button long press for touch those things has been given you can even adjust the intensity or the value from here wake device answer call control playback and cursor control also can be adjustable and user interface again ambient display options full screen app screen of animation monitor settings navigation bars font clock font style other things you can customize from here notifications again there are some customization it's a customizable rom full of customization has been given in this particular rom it's carried away in this android 13 build 2 now again sound and miscellaneous settings again in the miscellaneous settings you need to enable this unlock high fps in games in order to get high fps in pubg mobile pubg new state bgmi like kind of games the call of duty whatever the battleground games will be getting high fps once you un enable that unlimited photo storage again google photos unlimited storage is enabled if you want that you can disable that these are the other settings what i have seen and if i go into system into the gestures into system navigation you get pill length adjustment also pill radius adjustment even the back gesture height also can be customizable here i mean increase or decrease here and other settings like left and right edge sensitivity that's present in any of the rooms but the pill length and pill radius option will be skipping in some of the rooms but that is not the case in this particular room and also you get a updater here you can manually do that but i recommend to flash through recovery use the 14.0.1 global firmware only and use mind the g apps that's what i used use the same hence you will never face any problem this is how the rom what i can say is it's a very good rom actually it's a performance oriented rom hence you can compromise a little bit of bad life and flash this rom and you will never get disappointed that's the verdict i can say it's a uh, very good perfect rom available for poco x slash nfc that to android 13 base this was the first rom with android 13 which was very good and now that is being carried out with this particular update too let's see pubg new state and wind off this video you guys can see here there's a pubg new state game here you can see the graphics is set to light and 90 fps if you want you can keep it to max and increase up to ultra but i recommend to use in 90 fps option only it will be a little bit smoother higher the fps smoother the gameplay we'll see yeah now round starts let's see it is smooth actually I haven't faced any issues the smartphone get a little bit of warm as i explained in the previous video it's summers out there now warmness up to 50 degrees it's fine over that you need to cool your smartphone and then you can use don't use even after 50 degrees give it something time to your smartphone cool it a little bit 50 degrees celsius i am speaking not the fahrenheit uh, you need to keep in mind give up okay 
what is this this is new mode maybe anyhow i will come back here and this is how the rom experience and gaming experience and the battery life and charging speeds everything is fine the ram management especially i liked it in this particular rom guys if you want to use it as a daily driver and if you are already using that share your experience and if you want to use that go have this rom it's a very good rom excellent rom available for poco x slash nfc that too based on android 13 that's it guys if you have forget to mention anything out comment down in the comment section also join my live live streams once in a week i will be making it out and join my whatsapp group join my telegram group it will be helpful for you people and uh, that's it guys in this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling baba for now